Hello everyone, it's Queen V-Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to missing persons updates and it follows. Gabrielle McDonald has been found safe. Natalia Jordan has also been found safe. And a story I did last month regarding Tajay Baker has also been found. As previously reported, Tajay Baker went missing on May 1st, 2022. After getting an opportunity to do artwork in Washington, D.C., after which her mother was not in contact with her via phone or text, which prompted her mother, Miss Baker, to file a missing report once the report was filed the nypd and washington police departments failed because they missed critical time into finding miss baker from additional trauma both physically and mentally though Miss Baker has been reunited with her mother. It has been confirmed that the NYPD states that they will no longer investigate this case as a kidnapping. These are my thoughts. It is unfortunate that the NYPD and or Washington Police Departments are not looking into the person that lured Miss Baker to Washington, D.C. Because if you can lure a college student to Washington, D.C., that means there are other young persons who have talents just like Miss Baker who are being lured to Washington, D.C. and other places around the D.C. area to being kidnapped. Why is this critical? If you can find the person that lured Miss Baker, which can lead to other missing persons cases within the area. As I've said in my previous video, if we treat missing persons cases as a criminal case, trust me, future traffickers and or assaulters will think twice. Think about it. When someone has been injured or has died, officers are called on the scene to seal off critical evidence. If we treat missing persons cases as criminal cases by recovering the missing person's social media pages, by receiving call logs by the missing person, that way, if their last phone call was with their potential abductor, you have gained traction into finding that person. Also, looking at websites that have lured said missing person or go on websites where they unfortunately have victims on the internet. There's also cameras. Cameras are also critical in to finding missing persons meaning if if there's a business or a store where th the missing person was last seen you can then use that and implement it to the public of this person's last whereabouts and lastly bringing bringing it to light to the public. The public was not notified of Miss Baker's missing report until one month later. And if it was not for the due diligence 
love and faith of her mother, Miss Baker, probably Tajay would not be back home today. You will watch a brief clip of a Chicago woman who was found. And I will be back with my commentary. Near 119th in Eggleston, her only saving grace was the passerby who heard her cries for help. She told police that he was an acquaintance who sparked up a conversation before turning on her. She been being on the window for weeks. We talked to the girl and everything. Man on everything, G. She in there. How she can't get out? She tied up. She tied up or something. She locked in that room. Or locked in that room. 44-year-old Joel Kamen here was charged with aggravated criminal sexual assault and aggravated kidnapping in that case. You know, it happens more often than you think, and she's one of the lucky ones. Killers know that these abandoned homes, they make the perfect place to permanently silence their prey. They know no one steps foot inside these buildings for weeks, months, even years. And by then, critical evidence is often overlooked or destroyed. In fact, this is a 27-year pattern that's been repeated over and over. And Approximately 90,000 plus black women and black girls are currently missing. Again, approximately 90,000 black women and black girls are currently missing. We are in a state of an emergency. Again, we are in a state of an emergency. As the late Gwen Eiffel once stated, America has a missing white woman syndrome because had Tajay Baker or any of these victims were indeed white, trust me, their stories would be on our social media timelines, on our news feeds, in our conversations until they are found. And this is part of the problem. If these stories are not being told to the public, how can they know? Family members can do so much. Social media can do so much. And if mainstream media continues to neglect these missing persons, then we will continue to get the same results moving forward. We need to find these victims. We need to take their stories seriously. We also need to uplift these families of these missing persons because it's not easy to know that your loved one is somewhere out there and you can't reach them. I will leave a link to the missing persons hotlines. Please be safe. And I will see you in the next video.